Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Vanessa Veronica. Thanks for stopping by. Today I figured I will show you how to do a basic everyday wearable makeup that pairs very well with glasses if you are like me and wear them. I don't wear them all the time. Um, these primarily are Warby Parker, I believe, in the Daisy. That's the model name. So this is the makeup that I will be doing. So if you're interested, you want to watch it or you just like watching these just to pass the time like I do, then I hope you stick along and let's hop into the video. All right, so right off the bat, we're gonna be doing, and I know I tend to do this a little bit in reverse order, but again, because it is something more basic and neutral, I think it's easier to start off with the face as opposed to the eyes first. So I'm going in with the Pretty Fresh Color Pop Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer and just covering those spots under the eyes as well as any blemishes that you may have. Taking a sponge, I'm just going to quickly conceal. All right, next, going in with um, a CC cream from Honest Beauty right here. This is in the color light. Now, I know they only have three colors and this was the closest one so yeah i feel like they should be expanding on that if i can get it to on my fingers on my fingers it's like stuck again natural super light so you don't want anything too heavy or cakey make sure you moisturize before and you prime and prep your skin i'm just taking my expert face brush from real techniques i'm just gonna blend it all Whatever you have left over, bring it down, make sure it matches with the MAC Dagotage. Alright, moving right along, we're going to get right into the eyes. So again, I want to keep this a little bit neutral, and I think I might have left my palette somewhere else. So, let's see what we have, and we can work with what we have. So we're going to be using the Ace Butte palette. It has a lot of bright colors that I do want to use, but not for this look. We're going to be using this nude color right here, and we're just going to wash the eye with it. Again, just keeping this simple and very minimalistic, and we're done with that palette. Going in with my Ciate London palette, I think I used it in my Valentine's video, which if you haven't seen it, feel free to watch it. If you want a monochromatic pink look, let me cover the mirror and we're going to be using this pink color on the crease just to give it a little bit more definition and brightness. I'm using my Sephora in the color brown and we're going to be taking it from the waterline from the outer corner to the middle and then we're going to blend it with a nude to give you more an awakened eye, something that brightens it up and won't cover your glasses. Going in with the nude pencil, we're just going to grab it and as I mentioned before, we're just going to do the inner corners to meet the middle. And this one is from Essence and it's actually really creamy, which I was shocked to be honest with you, but I do like it. Jesus. All right, now we're going to be going in with a, a liquid liner pen and just going to be doing a little baby wing. We are back after a battery mishap failure. So where was I if I can even remember? But let's go on with the face. So going in with the Wonder Beauty, this is a double date and it's called Lip and Cheek. So you have your cheek and lip products and you've got kind of like a lip balm right here. That's kind of just like a clear balm. Okay, grabbing this brush again, just going to swirl it a little bit and tap it onto the cheeks. It is a cream product, so if you do want to set it, you can, depending on your skin. Because mine is a little drier right now, I'll probably just leave it as is. 
highlight if I could find it. If I could find it. Nope, I can't find it. Now, next we're gonna go back into this and use it to mimic the lips. I'm using a lip brush. And I'm grabbing my Sephora lip liner in the color Fruchsia, I believe. Funky Fruchsia. Um, again, use this in my other video. Just gonna layer that on top. Just add a natural little pink tone to your lips. And last but not least, grabbing some Bali Lip Balm by Kiss the Planet, I believe. It's right here. Coconutty. Oh my god, I did explode. We're gonna just grab some of that and moisturize, hydrate. It has an orangey coconut scent to it, which reminds me of the tropics. Again, more than anything, you're using your normal lip color and just enhancing it, you know? Yours, but a little better. So oh no, oh no, oh no. We need mascara. Good. dry and as that dries let's go ahead and work on the eyebrows I almost forgot I'm just gonna bring these babies up super easy peasy lemon squeezy and then we've got our glasses and I know the reflection is gonna be a little weird so I apologize I will try to film it without it and probably be really bad but Without further ado, this pretty much brings me to a concluded look. I did turn off the light, so it does, if it changes, it's because of that. I didn't want the reflection to reflect off because it is very distracting. But nonetheless, I hope you like it. Hope you come back. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, as I mentioned before. And yeah, I'll leave the descriptions of the stuff that I use down below as well. And that's that. So... See you next time.